What's good everybody? It's your boy named Matthews. Just got back from the gym. Wanted to hit y'all with a quick video. Um, this is going to be a video just on this single topic. So that's why I didn't want to hit y'all on the regular schedule time that I normally upload videos. Anyways, what I've discovered has got me feeling like a mad scientist, man. My mind has been blown, right? So what happened was I was doing my normal routine, lining up my beard like I normally do all the time using the wall detailers. Now I don't use these all the time, but this is what I was using when I realized and figured this out. Um, so these are very, very sharp trimmers. Trimmers, I tell you guys that every time I bring these up. Um, so what they usually do um, is irritate my skin after I'm done. It gives me a great lineup, as you can see right there. I think I got a, a really good lineup from these. Um, very easy, you kind of just got to tap them and the hair is just flying off. Um, but the problem is they're so sharp that it does irritate my skin a little bit. Like all the places that I put them right underneath the, the, the beard line at the bottom, on the sides, not so much, but on the on these top sides right here a little bit. And where it really irritates me is on top of the mustache. Like my skin will be red, um, not really anywhere else, but on top of the mustache, my skin will be red for like 20 minutes. No big deal, right? But it does irritate the skin. So I've tried multiple things to try to cool my face down and None of those things worked. I mean, the first thing I reached for was Vaseline. This did not work for um, irritated skin. Second thing I reached for, which is what I go to a lot. I even tried this on razor bumps and stuff like that. Does not work at all. Um, I mean, it, it works for what it's used for, what it's supposed to be used for. But me trying to make up a, a, a face irritant solution didn't work for that. Didn't work for that. Um, so I tried to use cocoa butter in addition to the Vaseline. I even got to the point where I rubbed some chapstick on my finger and tried to rub chapstick on there and see if that would do anything. That didn't work. So what I ended up doing was reaching for the Vicks Vapor Rub. And surprisingly, this worked like a charm. This is so magical. And like the, the, the thing that blew my mind about this is because all my life I've only known um, for this to be used if you have a cough or you have a stuffy nose my mom used to rub this on my chest or rub it on top of my lip and it it would make the cough go away or it would unstuff your nose I mean right here on the label it says Vicks Vapor Rub cough suppressant right there on the label even in the directions it says pretty much this is used to put on your throat or your chest to relieve cough um, and when it, you can also apply it to your muscles and stuff to relieve pain from your muscles and joints. Had no idea about that. You know why? Because people don't read labels. I mean, honestly, if people read labels, you would know that you're not really supposed to put a cup of noodles in the microwave. It says it right on the label. But who, who doesn't put a cup of noodles in the microwave? But let's not get off topic here. Anyways, it says nothing about um, not irritating the skin. It doesn't say anything. It's only two uses that it mentions is for coughs. And now, surprisingly, you can rub it on your muscles and joints. So after reading this, I decided to do some research on it and I looked up the active ingredients. The active ingredients in here is camphor, eucalyptus oil, and menthol. I've already known what eucalyptus oil has been because eucalyptus oil is also in beard wash and beard oils and stuff that I've used in the past. Um, so I just know that is pretty much known for the scent. So that's why it has a strong smell. Camphor. I looked that up as well. I'll throw the picture on of the definition and everything like that. And I'll also throw the links down in the description below so you guys can read the full article and stuff yourself. Um, the main thing that I looked up though was menthol. Menthol is um, actually what causes the face to cool down and things like that. I looked up the definition of menthol. I'll pull this up. And right here it says menthol. Menthol is an organic compound compound made synthetically or, or obtained from corn mint, peppermint, or other mint oils. It is a waxy, crystalline substance, substance, clear or white in color, which is solid at room temperature and melts slightly above. Now there's different names for it. The brand names Biofreeze, Eucerin, Celadrin, Orbsabine, and Carousel, right? Other drugs in the same class. So this stuff is considered a drug. Speaking of drugs, that's also why they have menthol cigarettes. Um, I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't smoke at all in general. Um, but the way this made my face feel, I can honestly somewhat understand why people would want to smoke cigarettes. If it can make your inside of your body feel cool and calm and everything like that, like it does my face, I mean, I can see why it's a drug. Anyways, also, in the same class, it says, it's in, it, this is considered in the same class as ibuprofen, um, which is... Uh, 
Advil, if I'm correct, that's the street name is Advil. Acetaminophen, street name for that, it's Tylenol. You guys take that. Tremadol, which is a stronger, um, a stronger uh, type of medicine for pain and stuff like that. I think they use the, the uh, what is it, Tremadol and Hydrocodone and stuff like that. I think those are stronger things, but in the same class. Because I, I've gotten Hydrocodone and stuff when. Um, when I broke my ankle and stuff like that, but anyways, it's considered in the same class because it has a numbing effect and it'll cool you down and take your mind off the pain and everything, right? Right. Um, also, I looked up the ingredients um, because it gives me the same sensation pretty much besides the heat. It gives me the same sensation as Icy Hot. So I looked on the back of uh, the Icy Hot pack, right? I have a couple of these too. The main ingredient in Icy Hot is menthol. It says it right there menthol 7.5 percent right so i looked up icy hot ingredients on google it says icy hot products contain menthol com uh, a combination of menthol and camphor which is also in here menthol and camphor same thing in here and menthol salicylate right so it's spelled differently but it's the same thing it still says menthol but ment menthol salicylate these ingredients create a cooling and warming sensations that divert attention from the actual pain and help block the pain signals being sent to the brain. So the only thing that is in Icy Hot that is not in Vicks Vapor Rub is the other spelling of menthol, menthol salicylate. So I've come to the conclusion that the menthol salicylate is the part that makes it warm, makes your body warm um, when using these. And the regular menthol is what makes it cool and you know, get your mind off the pain initially, right? So I just think it's real cool that uh, you guys should start looking up the ingredients of the products that you're using. Um, honestly, since since I've noticed this, I've been looking in the ingredient uh, up ingredients in my soaps, in my deodorants, in my my drinks and stuff like that. Everything. So it's just really cool to get all this information. If you guys want to be informed on this stuff, um, I will put the links in the description. And also, um, here's some more pictures too. This stuff they put. They say you're not supposed to um, eat this and stuff. Obviously, you don't. You wouldn't want to scoop this and just eat it, right? But I looked up videos online, and there's somebody who is actually addicted to eating this. So I guess that's the same thing as kind of smoking menthol cigarettes is eating this. So it'll give you the same feeling on the inside of your body, but minus all the tobacco and stuff like that. But I figured out that eating this is not what is dangerous. It's the doses that you uh, put into your body that can be poisonous and things like that. And I hope I don't sound like a professor, but this stuff just amazed me. I'm so I'm sharing this information with you guys. But um, menthol is actually in, in halls. It's in your face wash. It's in a lot of different products that I've been looking up. So it is a, a, a good product that will cool your face down and cleanse your face. Um, soothes your uh, throat from coughs and everything like that so that's why it's in halls and stuff but it's just the dosage that you use it so that's why i only put a little bit of dab on my face and things like that and it really does cool my face down also um i really let me see if i can find the link some other uses that i've come across i haven't actually tried these methods or anything like that because i don't really have all these issues but other uses for vix vapor rub i'm reading this off of a blog post i'll post a link in the description if you guys want to read it for yourself another one i've seen that was real cool you can use it for headaches usually when i have a headache i reach for the tylenol if it's bad i'll get for the advil or something like that they said you can get get some vix Rub a little bit on your forehead and rub some on the sides of your temples. My bad, I got the headphones on. Rub some on the side of your temples. It'll make your headache, headache go away. I have not tried that, so I can't say it personally worked for me. But other people have said it worked. Um, and a lot of different things. So for the rest of the, the list and um, uses for VIX, just hit the uh, link in the description. Also, if you guys want to buy some of this, you know it's going to be on my website, right? But you guys know where to buy this. You can go get it at any um, any corner store or something like that. They even have it at 7-Eleven probably in the little medicine aisle. You know, they sell this stuff everywhere. But um, in addition to this, though, I found another one. It's not Vicks, but it's also a vapor rub, and it contains a bit more menthol, nothing that's going to be too dangerous or anything like that because I think they said it only gets dangerous or so when you're having more than 11%. Don't 
quote me on that, but I believe that's what I seen when I was doing my research on it. It just gets dangerous if you have more than 11% menthol in whatever product you're choosing to use. This one right here only has 2.6%, so you're way below the, the safety line. Um, so you're good. But anyways, what I was going to say is the other products that will actually be on my website is not going to be VIX, but it has, it contains more menthol in it. And I'll put the, um, the details of that in the description below. But anyways, if you guys found this video helpful, um, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the page for more and stick around. If you guys want more tutorials on beards and stuff like that, I got those videos coming, but I just wanted to make uh, a dedicated video on the cool uses for VIX Vapor Rub and how it has helped me cool down my face after um, a nice lineup. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.